It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my United States of Central America series. And we have joined the, the war. I was kind of hoping that we'd land into Africa and we could help out on the African front, but that doesn't look like that's going to happen now. Do we have to worry about getting intercepted? No, it doesn't look like we are. Okay, that's good. Uh, in that case, then, we should deploy all you guys. Add them all into you. Exercise you for a few days just to get rid of the green status. And then we can go on our way. Oh, you want to send us some guns? Nice, thank you. Oh, how nice. Nice, nice, nice. And okay. We need heavy tanks. Yeah, um, the problem is we just don't have any resources for it. There's not really any way we could get resources for it either. I guess we could just get a bit of steel maybe from... That's pretty much all of our production gone now. Yep. Does that give us any heavy tanks? Oh, it gives us a few. We're producing about three a month. Okay, that actually is now a little bit more viable. Um, Power military. Doesn't give fascism anymore. Interesting. We don't need the... Uh, training time is okay. Gains 5% war support. Do We don't need the war support, do we? Really need stability, though. One of the decisions you can go for is called Promises of Peace. But we can't do it because we're at war, so we're going to have to do work conditions. Huh. These divisions are pretty useless. They're not really going to do anything. It's a shame, really. Anyway, we're going to go here. Everyone go here. They're going to give us a lot of uh, support equipment, which is nice. Free support equipment. Kind of a, it's a bit of a, would you call that an exploit maybe? I'm not sure. It's, it's an ability that you can uh, cheese the AI uh, on, in your faction by forcing yourself to have low resources so they'll give you more. It's a bit of a cheesy strat. We produced our first heavy tank, guys. We have one. I think we should have one line of close air support. Because we're not producing any at the moment. Yeah, we sent all the close air support. Good. That's what I wanted. Guys, did I tell you how much it triggers me that there's no portraits for these generals? Did, did I tell you how much that triggers me? It triggers me, boys. On the top. Okay. Reconnaissance is a nice one. Not going to benefit much from construction at the moment. Due to the fact that we're not producing much. What do we have here? American convoys. We're going to get our first kills with our submarines. The glorious Central American Navy. In combat for the first time, joining the glorious allies. <coughs> okay, um, I don't know what we can go for here. None of these benefits, do they? Let's think about it. Technology sharing? No. Actually, maybe technology sharing would help us. Yeah, it actually would. Okay, wow, okay, that's something I never fathomed. Hmm. All right, we have arrived. All 15 divisions. Where do we go from here, guys? Do we try an invasion of Sicily? We were talking about that on the last episode, weren't we? Let's try going here. Everyone go here, even though we can't. I know we can't launch the attack with everyone's divisions, but we'll just launch an attack anyway. 50% boost? Oh! Beautiful. Well, there's a nice reason to join the Allies, guys. Free research, pretty much. This is going to give us the ahead of time bonus. 100% that means we get it for free. But we can't. Oh, hang on. Faction, research bonus 50%, and technology sharing. Okay. Anti fascist rage, lose stability. Whew, we can't. Actually, no, I tell a lie. That doesn't actually reduce result in 
losing stability because you do gain stability back over time. So you lose 10%, but overall, over 120 days, you gain plus two stability. But still, it's only two stability. Why would I even bother, you know? Oh, we've got those ones. That's good. Oh, might as well research that one day. Oh, no, have I lost the boost? I just realized I was going to go for the boost, wasn't I? Have I just wasted the boost? No, because that's only ahead of time. So we can still use that for the heavy tank. Oh, that's fine. Whew, nearly had a heart attack then. All right, so we've got 10 divisions assigned here. Yeah, and then we've got one division here. Have they got a decent navy? No, no navy. That's good. In that case, we'll bring our navy over. Do this. We're still producing subs, right? Yeah, but only one, one point seven a year. Not many. Hey, our first kills, guys. Glory to the Central American Navy. Did we get any experience from that? None. Oh, he gained. Did he gain a little bit? No, he didn't. He gained nothing. Seventy days. I have to plan that out. It's really cool making these super advanced, high technology, high production tanks when we don't have the industry or the resources to be able to do that, right? That is a, a bit of a bummer. Uh, we'll go for production cap. And there we go. 213 days. Nice. Get rid of that. Focus on reinforcements. I'm going to kill that and rebuild it. We got any. Have they eliminated their navy? Yeah. Germany too, mostly. And it doesn't look like the Germans are winning. They, the Soviets kind of pushed a little bit into East Prussia, didn't they? And then they kind of got pushed back. Okay, they are actually getting pushed back now. Oh, we're not ready for the invasion yet. We've still got to wait another 15 days. A question that people ask me quite often is, why don't I play Minor Nations? Because for the extra challenge. I don't mind doing that. But you end up in these situations right now, like this second, there's nothing to do. And I'm just kind of just waiting. So it kind of makes a bit of a boring LP. So I usually like to play as major powers and do funky stuff and have goals and stuff. Other than having a scenario where I play as a minor right now and I'm not really just doing that much. Um, I'm always kind of con consciously thinking about... Will this be fun to watch? And uh, these scenarios, like right now, probably aren't the most fun. My opinion, okay, totally my opinion, but I don't think this is uh, the maximum fun you can get out of a YouTube channel, put it that way. But that's just my opinion, okay? I could be totally wrong, guys. I acknowledge that. I could be wrong. All right, can we go for War Economy? Yep. Oh my god, look how much support equipment we've got now. Let's shove that to the bottom. Cancel the lend lease, which makes sense because we've got way too much support equipment now. No research time too, minus 28%. The only way we could get that any smaller is if we went for nuclear tech and minus 2%. That's useless. We don't really benefit from that. Concentrate, I guess, because we're producing more guns, I suppose. Okay, we need to add artillery on. And reconnaissance. Oh, we've not got enough XP. We'll go for the reconnaissance first. We've got lots of it, so we have the ability to be flexible. Trained up, that's good. Draft dodging. This is one of the events based on having low stability. So you either suffered from draft dodging, which loses you a lot of recruitable pop, and you do get communism for not addressing it as well, or you throw political power at it and you assume that the, it improves the situation. But the good news is, this is another good thing, is if this causes the 80% chance of resolving the draft dodging, which is here, it also gives you a little bit of a stability boost too. So every time you have these bad events, to try and prevent it from happening again, you get a little bit more stability. So it never like, it never like, uh, I don't know, it's not like an avalanche, you know what I mean? It slowly, you slowly would truly work your way out of the mess. Alright, can we go here maybe? 
Oh, we need XP. Is there a way we can get XP? We could send an attache to the UK. They'd probably say yes to because we're in the Allies. Oh, it looks like the Germans are pushed out now. They're grabbing some of the Baltics. And kind of grabbing... Yeah, this is it. They... I'm not sure if Romania gave up Bessarabia. I'm not sure. Alright, boys. Can we do this? Can we do this? Is it doable? It looks like it is. Yep, no. What's the port here? Level 5. Nice. Oh, they're going to reinforce? No. Actually, we need to... Uh, Close air support to do a little bit more damage on the ground. The draft reform proves effective. There you go. Remove draft dodging, gain stability, and gain some more support. So at the end of the day, we come out of it slightly positive, but minus on political power. And we've landed. Nice. Get out of here. Get out. There you go. Perfect. And go here. And then you guys go here. And then here, here, and then here. I'd like to whip around the back of you to prevent you from uh, escaping. You stay here. There we go. Good. Pushing again. Pushing again. Ah, got a mess. So this this is the problem I was getting at. If we can't break here, we're not going to be able to get an encirclement. We'll grab Sicily, which is cool. Don't get me wrong. I like grabbing Sicily, but that's as far as we can advance. I just finished. It was concentrated, wasn't it? There it was. Uh, more construction. Oh, I think we might be able to break that now. No, no, maybe. Oh, here we go. No, they're getting reinforcements. Okay. Um, get here. Aggressive. And then planning bonus. Need to hold you in place while we wrap around the back. Oh my god, the Germans have arrived! No! Um, I think we might be better off looping around here for you. They're going to be fighting in the mountains here, and hills. Ah, uh, okay, we sh oh, it's such a shame we were just so close to grabbing Messina. Right, why are you guys going here? I told you not to go there. Retreat back here. That's good. Oh, bollocks. Really? Okay, I really didn't think that was going to happen. Um, can we move these divisions over? I wonder why you guys have sat around. Oh, it's because we only launched the 10, didn't we? And it looks like we're losing two divisions here. That's kind of annoying. It's just the artillery on those divisions is just so intense. Oh no, we were so close to capturing Sicily as well. So close. Oh, that's a shame. They've grabbed Sardinia already. What? Oh, Greece has pushed Italy out of the Balkans. <laughs> no. Uh, I think we're going to have to back out. Holding those mountains really well. And they're pinned in place. Oh, they're reinforcing a little bit. We're losing many planes here. I'm losing one. Alright, okay, we're gonna have to back out now. It was it was nice while it lasted. Okay, so where did I kinda of go wrong there? I think I I think I should have focused my fire here. And then push them all on Mesedina and push them out. I think I was too... I was I was less about achieving my objectives. And I was more about trying to get in a nice encirclement. And it failed. 
Can you guys, like, go here? We have 11 divisions now. The other two are here. Is there a... Oh, that, that is the best spot to land. It's got a port and it's planes too. And too, you don't find yourself getting surrounded. You only got the connection of two tiles. So that is a good place to uh, to do an invasion. I wasn't even thinking about the invasion path too. I just kind of just, that's the one I went with to begin with. We've got a lot of XP now, so we can make this division better. So artillery is going to be nice. And can you guys come here? Yep. Okay. Are you are you coming over or not? There we go. Cancel all everyone's plans. Everyone go here. Um more construction, yep. Producing a little bit of artillery, it's going to be enough to keep us going. And we're building a production efficiency too. We've got so much support equipment now, that's, uh, that's really awesome. There's no other... So the only thing we could add on here that won't cost us too much would be military police. We wouldn't benefit from that anyway. We get a little bit extra defense, a little bit extra organization. That's pretty much it. Germans were so quick to help them out here, weren't they? Like, going through all... All the way through the peninsula of Italy. And starting to reinforce. Yeah, if I was going to do that again, I think I'd focus fire Messadina. I'd conquer all the lands around it, then push into it. Get the encirclement bonus and push them out. And then maybe try and get this tile here so we could launch another offensive, maybe. Defeat. Oh, we got engaged and lost a sub. Okay, I can live with that. Oh, they don't even want to repair. Nice. Do 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 do. What's this? German convoys. Nice. <clears throat> so one cool thing about our nation, now we've got all the cores, look how much manpower we've got. Now this is a lot for a minor power, that's the normal thing you struggle with with the miners, you just don't have enough manpower. This is a really dark mechanic that's just entered my head right now, but wouldn't it be really cool if you could use manpower as a currency to like force build things quickly, like forts or factories for instance. Kind of a forced labour mechanic. I, it, it, I always seem like in a lot of like, it seems to be like a mechanic in a lot of strategy games where like manpower is like a source of like a currency for like communist nations. Am I the only one who's thought of this? I don't know. It just seems to be a thing I've noticed. Alright, can we go now? Exercise a little bit. Good. Really want to land here. Oh, 16 divisions? Alright, the minute we can land, go. For some reason you can't, you can assign this plan, but I think you'll only activate it until... We'll see anyway, we'll see. We're going to go for this again. We'll give it another shot. A non-aggression pack from the Chinese. Sure, whatever. Are we upgrading our artillery too? No. 31 factories. Still, I don't think we were going to be able to get to 50 factories, you know. The only way we could get 50 factories is if we had Panama and Colombia, maybe Ecuador too. Alright, that's it. Max tanks. But now we have no resources, right? Yep. Uh, okay, so we're in the right position now. Stop. Get on the front line. Actually, why are we worried about getting encircled? That's not going to happen because they don't have naval control. That's something I never think of. So there's no point. There is, there, I guess there's a kind of a, an argument for it, but there's there's not much reason to 
secure these ports if we have naval control, because they can't do an amphibious invasion anyway. Supply issues? Oh, boo. Ah, supply problems, so I'll send more divisions. I feel like that wasn't the right choice. Promote this guy, reinforce is a good one. We've gone for the tanks, uh, more support equipment. We've got good, decent supply, no, we've not. I think the tick is only at end of each day. And if they're attacking me just when the tick fires, then nothing happens. Mutant is in the army, so yet again we've got the bad stability event again. So we have to throw political power at it to fix it. And that results in some horrendously bad penalties. 25% less attack while we've got mutinies. That's insane. Produced our. Uh, I think that might be based on being on war economy. Yeah, being the fact we're on war economy, I think that might have gave us a little bit more production. And we've gone for some construction research because we had the production bonuses too, so that's nice. Use our air power too. Oh, I could just add this on. Oh, I just realised I could have just added that on, couldn't I? 200. Do close air support. And we've got it. Nice. Might as well go all the way now. It's good. Go for the machine gun too. Get max planning. Takes a little bit longer now because we've got more Grand Battle Plan Tex. Why aren't you going? Be aggressive. Can't break that. Not only are we going over a straight, but we're also hitting a mountain too. With low with low supply too. So that isn't breakable. But we've captured Sicily, which is kinda cute. Ah, non-aggression packs. Nice. I uh, don't need as much steel anymore. So the middle landing here. Oh man, you know what we should do? Let's do that. That'd be really cool. We don't get low supply here, which is cool too. It's going to take a while to plan that though. 70 days again. The only way we could get that down is by researching more amphibious transport tech. Landing craft, for instance. How's Germany doing against the Soviets? They've not lost Kiev yet. Made a nice puncture in the center. Yeah, center's not doing too bad. Everywhere else is kind of a little bit hit and miss. Hopefully it'll wear them down. Let's have a look at the casualties. Actually, we could just look here. Where's the Soviets? We've the same 47,000. The most casualties on the Allies is China at 3.4, 3,400. 3,000, 3.4 million. There we go. And uh, Soviets, what are we fighting for? What are we fighting for? Soviet Union, 3.2 mil. UK is on 800k. None of those helpers. I want to go for the text that we've got lots of multipliers on. Yeah, none of these are going to help me. Artillery is a nice one. Could we put, maybe we could puncture that now with only two divisions, maybe. You could hold that with one division if it's full strength, too. 
I don't think that's going to be doable, but maybe. The good news with this is we're creating a nuisance for the Germans. I think this is the reason why Sicily and uh, landing on them is a good idea once you've taken Africa. Because you just you become a nuisance and then Germans are going to pull divisions off the front line on the east to help out in, the, in this scenario. This is a bit spooky, this, because we could get encircled here as well. We'd have to grab this port and push downwards really quickly, too. Communist China has declared war on China. Oh, interesting. And it looks like they've done an infiltration, too. These have, like, flipped immediately. That means that the China Communist Chinese have infiltrated into the Chinese areas. This is actually something I've never seen before. So the Chinese have beaten the Japanese, which seems to be a, a random theme that I've noticed. Uh, but on top of it off as well, we've got the communists attacking the Chinese too. Which is really well timed because they're still at war with Japan. Japans too. Fascism defeated. There's nothing we could do at this moment. We could do communist raids and fascist raids. That gives us two stability. They're the only ones we've got. There's nothing else we can do. We are going to gain slightly a little bit more stability due to the fact that we're going to gain more democracy over time. That's quite nice. Um... So, let's think about this. Are we going to add the heavy tank on now? We add an extra 46 armor, which is amazing. But the downside is we are going to need 500 tanks, and we have only got 96. Interesting pocket here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. We're going to need control of this too. We're about our subs. Are they getting hit? No, they're all max strength. Nine ships, four convoys. Germany, 400 convoys, four ships. It's going to be really tough to crack this. This is making me really nervous because we could lose a lot of divisions here. This is a difficult plan. Only a few, another week of planning left. Maybe what we should do, this is actually a better idea. We duplicate this, take that off, have the heavy tank on. There's not actually an armor division template out of this. Armor, save, and then we convert two. Hang on a second. No, it's armor. It's here. Get rid of these two. We don't need them. Armor. One, two. Yep. Uh, we need 80 armor. That's fine, so we can, we can convert two. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so we actually are integrating armor now. That's good. I always have this idea in my head that I have to convert my whole army. I don't know why I always think that. Yeah, but that's that's definitely going to be the right, the right plan for is right now. Uh, I don't want to rush those because uh, we don't have a production bonus. I don't know why we don't have production bonus for those two as well. Surely, do we cancel it and then go for it again? I don't know. I feel like I just have a feeling it's bugged. I don't know why. No, it's not. I was wrong. We'll go for the doctrines too. I think I'm going to go for the doctrines. 100%. We could insta research that. Can we cheese this? And then go. Like that. No, it doesn't work anymore. So tech switching. 
No, I don't think I did that right. Maybe I should have waited a day. But if I waited a day on that, I would have lost the 50% bonus, wouldn't I? So I don't think that was a good idea. Never mind. That was stupid. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and to subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.